Hey guys, this is part four of the platformer series. Um, in this one, I am going to be creating the tile set and I'm gonna implement it into the game. So I did two things. Um, first one is I made a new test map. Um, this one has it's much more complicated than the other one. And I also made a new directory graphics and this has my tile set that I made very quickly in paint just for this tutorial um, but we are going to be using tileset.gif this is what we will read um, and this is what it looks like it's basically um, the tiles are split into two rows the top row is the these are the tiles that we can go through those are not blocked and the bottom row, those are all the tiles that are blocked. So that's like the ground and stuff. I only have two blocked tiles, so yeah, that's what we're gonna use. So now we need a new class, tile.java. All right, so tile.java obviously is gonna have our tile stuff. Um, it's going to be very, very simple. Just import ot star and ot image star. Actually, I don't even think you need ot star. So let me just get rid of that. We need the buffered image. Image, this is going to be the tile image that we are going to use. And a boolean called block. This is going to tell us whether or not we can pass through this tile. Public tile, the constructor now, buffered image. We're going to give it two things, the buffered image and a boolean. And we're going to set those. That. And we're going to make two getters. Public buffered image, get image return image and one for the blocked boolean is blocked okay so that's tile.java um, we have to make a couple changes now to tile map now we want to incorporate the new tile class into here so what we're gonna do is create a new first off buffered image tile set this is going to be the tileset.gif that I made. I'm going to be posting that along with the uh, second test map. So look for it in the comments. And now we're going to need a 2D array of tiles. Our new tile class. So first thing, um, before we go any further, we want to change the delimiters here. Um, this is just a delimiter of one space, but now I want to change it to um, slash slash s plus. This means that the delimiter will be any white space. So now, uh, after that, we want to make a new um, function, and this is going to load our tile set into the game. Public void load tiles. String s is the name of the file. So again, IO, so we need a try catch. Print stack trace. Okay. So here we set the tile set. Oh, right. Before we do that, um, we're using buffered images now. So import uh, image star, and we're using image IO. So import Java X image IO image IO. Note the capitals. And now we're going to use the image IO class to read the images. <coughs> image IO.read new file s. So now first thing um, again, like I said before, I arranged the tiles into two rows. First we want to find out how wide this thing is. Home tiles across. get width plus one divided by tile size plus one um, I did this this is, might look weird but um, I have this one pixel border between each of the pixels so I have to take that into account 
and now we can create our new tiles array again two rows and however many tiles across so now we want to get each of the individual tiles and we're gonna call that sub image now we have to loop and call a zero all is less than num tiles across call plus plus column sub image we're gonna get tile set um, now buffered image has this function called get sub image and this is going to return a part of the image so first thing um, we need the X starting X which is column times tile size plus column starting Y zero and the width and height which is just tile size and tile size and that is our new sub image and we're going to set that in tiles array row zero at column new tile sub image and false this is um, walkable this is not blocked so um, now we want the sub image for the second row so you can get the same thing tile set that get sub image um, this time we're going to use column times tile size plus column is the same but now we're moving down in Y so this is gonna be tile size plus one and the same tile size and tile size now create the new tile uh, uh, instance here row one this time new tile sub image and this time true <clears throat> this is going to be a blocked tile um, so yeah now we have to go down here into draw and we have to actually change uh, what we draw get rid of all of this we're no longer drawing uh, colored blocks um, so the way that I did this was um, for example in the test map 2 we have a bunch of numbers here um, let's say 13 so 13 uh, would correspond to actually 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so it goes across and then it goes to the next row across so 13 would be this first one in the second row so in order to do that first we need the row um, this is going to be RC divided by tile 0 dot length and we need the column which is RC mod tile 0 dot length so that's all we pretty much need we're just going to draw the image now this is just um, tiles rc dot get image we're going to get the image from the tile class and draw it at x plus column times tile size and y plus row times tile size also no don't forget that at the end and that's that for tile map oh right one more thing we need a new getter public boolean is blocked we're no longer going to be using get tile because um, we're going to upgrade it to this is blocked instead int row int column and now we're going to do int rc is map row column and we're going to do the same thing as before we need the row and column of the tile image so r is rc divided by length or um, tiles zero dot length and C is going to be RC to uh, mod modulo tile zero dot length and now we simply return tiles RC dot is blocked cool so now we have to make a couple changes to two more classes game panel let's go in here real quick um, in here we want to go to the init function and we want to change the tile map here uh, after we instantiate it we now have to load the tile set so load tiles um, and this is just going to be graphics slash um, what was it called tileset.gif yep okay Oops. 
graphics slash tileset dot gif. Also remember to change this to test map too. We want to use the second test map. So yeah, and one more thing in render. Uh, we didn't clear out the screen, so we're gonna do that right now. Um, and we're gonna do that with uh, what do you call it? G dot set color. We're just gonna color it to black. So g dot fill rectangle zero zero with height. That'll clear the screen with a black rectangle. Now one more thing, player dot Java. Now here uh, we're no longer using get tile, so we should get rid of all of that. Get tile, replace it with is blocked. Is blocked. Is blocked and over here. This is in the calculate corners function of player.java. That means we no longer need to do equals zero. So get rid of the comparison equals zero at the end here. And that is that. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. In my tile class, I must have forgotten to write tile. Yeah, public class tile. Um, let's see if we get any more errors. Cannot find symbol num tile across. That's supposed to be num tiles across. This is at 51. 51 num tiles across with an S. So compile and run. See if this looks right. Okay, so here's our dude, and um, here's my basic-y looking uh, sprite tile set. I mean, so see if you can get to the end of the map. Oh, that was too easy. Okay, so that is the tile set. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much the video, um, and uh, I will try to see what I can do in the next one, um, probably the player sprite with some animation on it. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.